Thank you to our final patrons, Strawbones, Rebel4765, Midnight Gem Lord, Art Goon, and Sean. You know, the commitments kind of suck. Like, they're kind of booty. Like, just in general. And, like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Admittedly, the power boost is nice. It's nice. We, we like a good, juicy power boost. Do not get me wrong. I believe taking 20%, not 20%, a 20th of a deity's power into yourself, nice, juicy, really, really good. And we see if you get enough of a minion, you can unlock unique abilities based on the commandments. Like, for Command Mael may have been out of his good mind, but he also had a whole ton of, like, crazy hacks that came from the commandments. So, like... If you have them in the right circumstances, they can be useful. And one is nice, too. But, like, just generally, ability-wise, you usually don't want a commandment. Like, there are two that I'd say are good abilities, just on a general life front. Because, like, if you have love, you're just gonna live a peaceful life. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, sure, you won't be able to harm anybody as long as you hold hatred in your heart. And considering you're human, you're likely gonna hold hatred in your heart. But considering you're also surrounded by other humans and anything that would be motivated to hurt you that's not just purely accidental, also likely has hatred in its heart, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll live a nice, safe life. And you'll just be way stronger than you usually are, except you can't use it <laughs> because you won't be able to attack anything. You won't be able to issue harm. But you may be able to use that strength for, like, physical lifting stuff, speed, velocity, all that good stuff. However, combine that with piety, and you have a pretty good thing, too. Like, admittedly, I still don't buy that you can inactivate it on yourself. Like, piety is the only commandment where I am 100% sure, beyond a shadow of a doubt, you'll never activate it on yourself because, like... How would you? <laughs> how would you do it? Still to this day, I don't know how one could like <laughs> GG no re reverse piety themselves. Like, really? Do you have to look in the mirror? Like, do you have do you have to make a clone of yourself? Like, I have no idea how that works. So those two, they're fine. They are good abilities with good things. So those two commandments, let's remove them from the discussion. But like, that's two for ten. <laughs> two for ten. That is a twenty percent. That is not just a failing grade. That is a failing grade by like forty percent. And then like 40 and a half percent, really. It's so like 45 percent. But the rest, they just suck. Like, pacifism? Hor horrible. Awful. Why would you ever want that? You Do you know how many things you accidentally end? Like, ha have you ever stepped on grass? Have you ever, have you ever swatted at a bug? D you know you're covered in like millions upon millions upon millions, if not like billions of like tiny antibacterial, not antibacterial, tiny little bacteria like, microbacteria that cover your entire body. Like, if you've ever, like, itched, you've probably at least got one of them gone. Being entirely realistic, they're probably fragile. You know how quick... You wouldn't be able to breathe. You probably wouldn't be able to breathe, considering your abilities. Like, that's that sucks. Uh, that's, not, that's not fun. We do not like that idea. Selflessness? Don't ever be selfish, ever. Or else you just cease being you. Like, what? Why would why would I want that? Like, what does selfish even count in this category? Like, you must be selfless. I like, and how does that even useful in battle? What if you run for your life, you forget who you are? Okay, I guess, but still, it's not worth it. Patience. Have you ever stubbed your toe and reacted? I know I have. If we had patience, that toe pain would just multiply over and over and over and over and over again. Until your entire body's in pain, I think you kind of just die. Like, like, what, what are you gonna get out of that? What, what fun are you really gonna have? Like, sure, I could see a counteraction to this argument, but like, well, if you're so powerful, like, you literally contain a twentieth of a god's power, you're never really gonna feel pain from stubbing your toe. But you gotta realize the pain of stubbing your toe more so comes from the fact that you were unprepared to stub your toe. Like, you can poke something and it won't hurt too badly, but if you slam your finger against something by pure accident, it's gonna hurt. So, like. You're likely going to be suppressed, too. So you can still stub your toe and then send yourself into an endless world of pain. Why would I want that? Why would I want that? Purity? Stay pure. What does that mean? Like, do, do my thoughts have to stay pure? Do my actions have to stay pure? Well, what is the limit? Hmm? Hmm? Is it purity in my perspective? Because if so, it's too late. Like, if I could train myself to think everything I do is pure, then maybe. Maybe if I could get on my own high horse and believe that. But... I, I don't think I can. Not in any short order. Not in any reasonable manner. It's not happening to me. Not in any quick velocity. The velocity that's required for me to actually live a safe life or something like purity. Reticence? Keep your mouth shut. Forever. And ever. 
and ever and ever never ever like if i have a crush on somebody and i tell them i have a crush on them boom silence to be fair it's not i don't hold on let me double check reticence maybe it's not that bad you know what you know what reticence like i've always been mean to learn sign language so maybe reticence isn't too bad either so we're going 30 we're going, yeah actually you know what maybe the commitments aren't too bad now i'm thinking about it because another commitment i don't think is too bad is repose at least in our world and even in the seven daily sins world because like unless i'm mistaken repose requires you to lose all your magic and like Nothing in this world is making you lose all your magic if you have a commandment, and nothing in that world is making you lose all your magic. So maybe maybe the commandments ain't too bad. We're, we're bad in 40, 40%. 4 for 10. The rest, though, I, I'm, just not, I'm just not really rocking with it. I just, I'm not lying to you. It's just I'm not really rocking with it. And the thing is, right, the last two commandments still are not the best. Like, in terms of commandments, I would actually, like, I don't want truth. Like, and I'm not even saying this as a guy who, like, runs around lying every other second. This isn't something I do normally. But even still, like, you're telling me I couldn't tell a white lie? Like, I couldn't even joke anymore? I couldn't make any fibs? Or else I get turned to stone? Like, what, what, what good does that do me in life? Like, for what reason am I trying to turn to stone? For, for what benefits does that give me? What moral, ideological, like, I mean, I, it's nice that no one can lie to me. I suppose, and you know, the truth is always right. So I guess maybe it's a good thing that I'd never be able to fib again. But still, you know, I like to joke. I like to mess around. I would go messing around one day and suddenly I would just wouldn't exist. Because I'd be stone. Like, that, that isn't fun. I don't know, it just isn't fun to me. I, w I wouldn't want that. Same thing with something as, like, crazy and stupid as faith. D I I've lost faith in things before. Like... <laughs> I've played fighters for like five rounds straight and lost all five rounds. I lost faith. I turned the console off. Boom. No more eyes. At least with reticence, you lose the ability to speak. I can work around that. I cannot work around my eyes burning out of my sockets. And I still wouldn't, I wouldn't want to wish that on somebody else. Like for what, what good does that do me? Someone loses faith before me and bada bing, bada boom, their eyes are gone. I don't want to see that. That's traumatizing. I, w I would not want to witness that. That seems awful. I wouldn't want to do that to people. That seems so painful. And I guess that's the main thing, right? Like, and maybe hypnosis isn't your thing either. But the thing is, at least I can free people from the hypnosis. I can't give somebody their eyes back. I can't unstone somebody. I can't come back alive, I suppose, in the case of pacifism. Like, I can't do certain things with other commandments at least with repose i'm not harming anybody else like the thing is literally if you fight your hardest for too long your magic gets sealed people don't have magic as far as i know in our world so we'll be fine no one will get hurt by that piety i will release you from your hypnosis it's just a passive thing i can do my fault my fault love you don't need to hurt me in the first place so i'm glad you can't like those three unproblematic reticence I wouldn't want my crush to go quiet. <laughs> like, or the person who, imagine the person you like comes up to you, or someone, anyone who expresses, who has hidden feelings or hidden thoughts comes up to you, tells you something, and suddenly they can't speak. You know how awkward that conversation is going to be? Because you can't have a conversation anymore? That'd be awkward. But at least it's manageable. You can learn sign language together. But <laughs> in the case of like every other commandment, the other six of them, they're just awful scenarios for you and everyone involved. So no, I would not like them. I think they're kind of booty meat. However, that's what I think. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure the little notification bell to miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also do a patron down below in support for as as one, kind of one, down the link, exclusive videos, early content, and more. You also now become a member of the channel for as as three dollars a month to get the same perks and more. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is that guy the pencil writing off.